Rickshaw started off today riding from Land's End to the East End. So, Matt, how's day one been? Well, hello, Alex, and hello, Adil. Goodness me, I am delighted to say that we are approaching the end of day one. What a day it's been. Oh, gosh, we're reaching almost 60 miles now. We've got about three miles left to go. And we have been hit with the most incredible weather today. And it's been full of so many different ups and downs, which I'll tell you about later on. Um, I'm going to zip ahead now. Erin is on for her second stint of the day, so I'm just going to make sure that everything is set for her arrival. But hope you can join us in Padstow very soon. We will be there with you, hopefully, Matt. Thank you. in Padstow yet? Finishing line, but let me tell you, Punzi's here already. He's out in the beer. Look, Punzi's in the boat. Hello, Punzi. We've got we've got half of Team Rickshaw here as well. And he, look, Rick Stein has turned out as well tonight because Rick T is on Rick tonight. We're having fish and chips, courtesy of it. Thank you so much. Anyway, but listen, on to the mission in hand, which for us started at all 500 hours. It was one small step for Lucy, but one giant leap for Team Rickshaw. Day one on this year's Rickshaw Challenge and Lucy, who has cerebral palsy, has been given the honour of starting us off. Hi, How are you, you feeling about uh, your little girl setting this whole thing off? Yeah, very, very excited. Very <laughs> excited. <laughs> no, write a book about it. And that's what we need to do, write a book about it, yes. There'll be a lot of chapters. Let's say goodbye to Land's End, shall we? Cheer! And let's roll! Go! But true to form, the weather's dreadful. What have you done with the weather? <gasps> you me. 61.2 miles to go uh, to our destination of Padstow, and I think the biggest problem we're going to have today is these crosswinds. And the effort of riding in them has already Perfect. begun to bother Lucy as she struggles up our very first big hill. <sighs> nice deep breaths. How are your legs? Tired, aching. Come on, Lucy, come on. Let's make it count. <laughs> Six and a half miles! Yeah. Well done! Yeah. How do you feel? Oh. <laughs> As dawn approaches, next up to battle the road is 18-year-old Erin from Socky. Feels good cycling on a motorway, doesn't it? I know. Oh, yeah. Erin has severe arthritis, and almost all of her joints are affected by it. How are your joints feeling? Well, it's sore all the time, so the pain never goes away. Now you're in pain from the second you wake up? Yeah. When you can feel the pain, you know you're alive. <laughs> and how would you describe the pain for those that don't have any experience with arthritis? It's constantly there. So even though you're doing nothing, you can just be so drained and tired. I'll come and just come across and get some money. Thank you, sir. That's very kind of you, thank you. Oh, it's a beauty! 20 pounds. <laughs> Here's the motivation, Erin. <laughs> what do you take to help? Um, injections once a week. Loads of painkillers, sleeping medication. It's a lot for an 18 year old to cope with. Yeah. A life of pain has taken its toll on Erin's friendships too. That must have been incredibly difficult to cope with when your friends were going off and doing everything and you were, you were desperately trying to keep up with them. I've been through loads of groups of friends because of, like, a lot of, when they were younger they, did, they didn't understand and then it would kind of turn into a bit of bullying from your own friends. Like just tease and tease and constantly. But then there does come a point where it's like, oh, that's enough. I didn't feel like I would want to put you on that bike. It felt like it would just be too much for you. Nah, get on that. Oh, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> With plenty of miles to cycle, 16 year old Elliot from Essex pushes us on. And the support on the streets oh, just this, gets bigger. Hiya.
It's still raining when 16-year-old George Griffiths, who was born with Down syndrome, takes his first turn at riding the rickshaw. Now, George is a big fan of musicals. My favourites, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, you, pretty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, we love you. And in, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Are you applauding for the singing or for the... Yeah, of course. <laughs> and George tomorrow, likes Annie. Tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, it's only your day, Yahweh. Well, what a day we have had. Honestly, I, can t I have just been so impressed by all of the team, how much they have pushed themselves. And I'm here um, with Erin's nearest and dearest, her loved ones here, and Lisa as mum. What was it like for you to see Erin go through that and, and, you know, explaining the way she did to the whole nation, what she's gone through in her life? It just brings everything back to the surface again. It just brings it so raw how much she's in pain all the time. Mm -hmm. she, never, she never mentions she's in pain normally, but... It's hard to listen to her, yeah, see what yeah. I, you know how how painful she's in. And Brian, I know for you, you were telling me just beforehand. You know, every day is you know is is painful for Erin, and that for you. I mean, you you you're so close to her, aren't yes, you? Yes, yes. Tears here. I'm uh, I'm I feel so proud and emotional at the moment for just watching what was on the screen there. Well, listen, you are going to love this moment. Just bend round there, look, and have a little look because you'll see your daughter coming down this home straight. Look, bringing. Team Rickshaw home at the end of a very long and emotional day. It has been absolutely superb effort all around and brought home by an absolute trooper that is Erin. Come on, Erin, over the line. Keep coming. And look who's here to meet you. <laughs> Listen, I'll let you have a hug, do everything you want to do. Hold it there, go on, you have your moments. Go on in, there you are, Brian, my friend. Get in there, son, get in there. And, yeah, I mean, what a day it has been. I mean, Elliot, you were christened King of the Hills. Yeah, um, it was really difficult at first, but I sort of gained the perseverance to get through all of the hills, and it was just great to be able to get through it and just get here eventually. Yeah. And when you see scenes like this, I mean, Aaron and her family, it just, it just makes it all worth it. And George, can, one of my favourite moments today was as we cycled down a nice big hill uh, towards the seaside, you remember all them people were there to greet you. Can you just sum up for us what it feels like to feel that support? I was so, no I was so nervous at the start, but I thought the, the backup from everyone was just amazing. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm thankful, really. I mean, it, it was a huge experience for me to be on that rickshaw. Yeah. Well, it's listen, brilliant. Jo it's not going to end here, my friend. We've got another seven days of it. It's going to be incredible. It really is. It's super. And Rick, for you to welcome such, I don't know, an inspiring team to your hometown. Well, I mean, I can only say we're so lucky with the weather because, you know, it's obviously terrible for yes. you today. Terrible rain and um, Cornish well, you, November weather. You're making up for it with the fish and chips. So come on, bring it in. And while we enjoy the fish and chips, we'll just say very quickly, uh, we're going to take you through the map for the next few days ahead. So from here, we're going to be leaving at 6.30 in the morning, everybody. So we've got a nice little sleep in there. We're off to Oakhampton. And then Sunday night, the plan is to arrive in Taunton. Monday, we're heading off to Bristol, OK? So we're going to be at the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Uh, by the time we're here on air, it's such a long ride that day. Well, you'll have to join us live for, uh, for a, a switchover as opposed to the end of day. But listen, huge congratulations. You can, you can eat it, Elliot. You can eat it. Don't worry about it. Like <laughs> Not just for sure. Listen, huge congratulations to all of Team Rickshaw. Just say to everyone, we'll see you Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. Oh, <laughs> congratulations to Erin and the rest of the team. Thanks to Rick Stein and to everyone in Padster for coming out to support them.